Um, Eagles, Rams. I, I like seeing the Eagles do well, and I don't know why. I have a close friend who's an Eagles fan, a big Eagles fan, big Philadelphia fan, and um, I just like to see them do well, largely for that reason, I think. Um, you know, I know a lot of you guys are Cowboys fans and will not agree with me, but I've always, you know, found guys like McNabb and Westbrook just really likable, and I like to root for them. And Andy Reid, he comes from that Mike Holmgren tree, so... You know, their domination was entertaining, um, if, you know, one-sided. You know, McNabb was just about perfect as far as, you know, mixing in big plays with good drives. He hit three different receivers for 100-plus yards. Um, you know, Westbrook played well. You couldn't have asked for much more from Philadelphia. It's just the perfect, <coughs> excuse me, perfect a way to open up a season. Defensively, they held the Rams to three points. They did it without turnovers. It's not easy to play great defense when you can't force turnovers. So, I'm at least I don't think they forced any turnovers. So, don't quote me on that. I can't go look it up right now, but there's not much else you can say there. Deshaun Jackson has you know, Deshaun Jackson got a ton of hype in the preseason. So, for him to come out and post a 100-yard game plus get that one big return is just beyond huge for him. Because if he didn't come right out of the gate and just blow up, people were going to be disappointed no matter how unfair that is. Steelers, Texans, you know, I did pick Pittsburgh and people were picking Houston. And I was kind of thinking the game could at least be entertaining in spite of that, but <coughs> this was a pole polishing, for lack of better words. Um... You know, we like to talk about Houston. I think a lot of us want to see Houston do well because they are the newcomers and they've never won and they haven't won anything significant yet. They haven't done anything yet. So we like so we'd like to see them do well. I, and I, I I don't know, I just think that and I think this was the year a lot of people thought they were gonna make the step and maybe they would. But maybe them winning on the road against Pittsburgh was too much. But anyway, they did not look good. Only bright spot here was Mario Williams, who played wonderfully. Mario's really shaping out to be a nice pick. Um, you know, Matt Schaub had a couple of turnovers. Oh, well, Andre Johnson, in all fairness, did have a nice game. But, you know, Ben was, you know, conservative. He only threw 14 passes, but he was just about perfect. And sometimes that's all you need. The running game ran all over Houston pretty much at will. It was just like Pittsburgh's offense could do no wrong. So, Houston, um, like I said, I think they might be a bit of a lollipop or a popsicle team. And what that is, that's actually a Bill Simmons term. It's kind of hard to explain, but it basically means they didn't... Uh, I guess a popsicle team is basically a team that didn't really do anything significant last year, like go to the playoffs... And then over the offseason, everybody gets excited over them. And they end up being a little overrated. Last year, that team was San Francisco. This year, I think that team could be Houston. But week one is week one. And um, anything can still happen. Pats and Chiefs. Um, it's tough to talk about a game like this now. Because the game just happened less than 12 hours ago. So... There's historical context in this game. There really is. I mean, can you name other... If if the reports all say that Tom Brady is out for the season, it seems very likely that he's going to miss the rest of the season. It, 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 most people have already carved it up in stone. <coughs> and I'm not surprised. It looked like an ACL tear to me. So you're talking about a three-time Super Bowl champion, likable Hall of, future Hall of Famer, likely a future Hall of Famer because, well, actually he's not really likable. Um, you know, coming off an MVP season and, you know, all the underdog story about his career and he's hurt, he's out for the season in week one, he's going to miss a whole season and can you think of a sports injury previous to this, like, in any sport with that kind of significance to it? Um, you know, I think about, like, a guy like Bo Jackson, but he had not done anything huge in his career yet. You think about a guy like Michael Irvin, but he had already accomplished pretty much all of what he was going to accomplish. 
And what if Tom Brady is never the same? What if he comes back next season and he's just another quarterback? What if he can't even do that? I mean, look at a guy like, you know, this is all hypothetical. This is all hypothetical. Look at a guy like Donovan McNabb or, you know, even, well, actually, Trent Green did come back and have a couple few, couple good years. And, you know, Carson Palmer, I don't think, has looked the same since the injury. So what if that happens? Um, <coughs> you know, think of the historical significance here. Tom Brady was had the very good opportunity to, when he was done, go down in history as the best quarterback of all time, and if this injury is significant over his career, is he even top 20? You know, people will disagree with me here, but I don't think that as of right now he has locked up his Hall of 